So horse racing is broken down into a handful of categories, types, classifications and grades. And millions is spent on horse racing every single day of the week. Yet the average punter doesn't understand the difference between these different groupings. Which is foolish when you think about it because how can you consistently pick a winner when you're analysing each race in the same way they're different. Although I do understand on first glance the whole thing's quite confusing, which is why in this week's upload I'm going to explain absolutely everything when it comes to race types, grades and classifications in UK horse racing. Now it's likely this video is going to take longer than usual because of all the useful content that's shared within. So if you're looking for something specific, check out the description down below. There'll be some timestamps, you can tap one of those and skip ahead. Also, before you do that, please remember to tap the like button and subscribe down below. It helps us out developing the channel. We've not got a channel sponsor, so it's really appreciated. Thank you. So before I get stuck into the individual race types like maiden, handicap or novice race, I want to start right from the top because there's two main categories that all UK horse racing falls under. Which which is flat racing and national hunt racing. So national hunt racing is sometimes referred to as jumps and takes place between October through to April each year and the flat takes place over the summer months between April and October. Now underneath those two main classifications you've got groups, grades and different classifications which is just a way of filtering and sorting the horses based on quality and previous ability. Understanding the difference between these different race types and classifications can be really quite important it was a bit of an aha moment for me just over 10 years ago now before I went pro where I realised that not only do the horses behave in a different way but the marketplaces do to mirror that also. So flat racing takes place uh, where there's no obstacles, typically on turf, sometimes on the all-weather surfaces. If you don't understand the difference between the all-weather surfaces, also check out a video we'll put in the end screen for you, which explains the difference between the three different types of all-weather surface. But flat horse racing is typically about pace, speed, and stamina, which means you typically get younger horses um, than their dashful hunt jumping uh, counterparts. So the races themselves range from between five furlongs and two miles, a furlong being around about 200 meters. Uh, you'll typically see a lot of horses that are two to three years old on the flat, uh, up to about five years old, whereas on the jumps they are you know, significantly older. So next I'll go through the individual different types of UK flat horse race. Starting off with handicaps. Now handicaps account for more than 50%, a little over 50% of all UK flat horse races, which is obviously a massive category, which is then broken down further. We'll talk about that more in just a second. But basically horses within these races, based on their weight or their rating given to them by the handicapper on a weekly basis, they can enter certain races and compete. Now, when they compete, the whole idea is the handicapper grades them in relation to each other so that if the handicapper has done their job correctly, all horses are handicapped so, so that we get a very competitive race, okay? If they're in a perfect world, if the handicapper's done it spot on, then at the end of the race, all horses should be finishing the line around about exactly the same time. Now, next on from that, we've got nursery handicaps, which is exactly the same for two-year-old horses. Very easy one. Maidens come next, which is another popular category you may have seen. It's typically usually at the front or the, or the rear end of a, of a race card. And maidens are horses who have not previously won in the past. Now, once a horse has lost three times, it can then receive a rating and go into handicap. So it's not like they're stuck indefinitely in the maidens category, but you cannot be uh, in the maidens category if the horse has previously won the race. Typically, this lends itself to younger horses for obvious reasons. It may be horses that have never run in the past or just horses that have lost once or twice previously. Novices of young horses up to the age of three that have previously won a maximum of two times, okay? Next, we've got claim and sellers. Claimers, after a claimer race, um, a horse is obviously available to be claimed or purchased um, and they, for that reason they have to carry maximum weight in the race to get the full purchase price. If a horse doesn't carry the full weight within that race then in line with the amount of weight reduction is the proportion of reduction in terms of price overall, okay? So it's basically to, to sell horses. Sellers, loosely speaking, are low-grade affairs for horses that they're made available for auction after the race. Now, that may sound confusing because there's auction races too, but auction races are for horses that have previously been sold at auction. Okay, next up we've got condition stakes. As the name suggests, there are various conditions to enter in these races, which is usually based on age, sex, weight, um, 
weight in relation to their age and so on and so forth. Beyond that, you've then got amateurs and apprentice races. Now, amateurs are purely races where the riders within the race are amateurs, meaning they don't get paid, they're doing it for fun, they actually enjoy it. Uh, and then you've got apprentices, which is a character for apprentice jockeys, which are obviously getting paid, but they are not, you know, a pro level. So it's not all that hard to see that it gets quite complicated or it appears to be complicated on first glance when you look at all of these, but you know, their names typically give away quite a lot as to what's happening within the race and you know, it's not that hard to understand. So next up, we've got National Hunt, and there's three different broad types of National Hunt horse race that you wanna focus on, which are steeplechases, hurdles, and National Hunt Flat, okay? Now, National Hunt Flat is sometimes referred to as bumpers, a little bit of a slang term. So if somebody on one of the racing channels mentions bumpers, that is what they're referring to at National Hunt Flat Race. So if we breeze over each one of those categories very quickly, one by one, what they mean. First of all, you've got steeplechase races. Now, in the past, historically, the name come from steeplechase because way back when, the horse races used to take place between church steeple to steeple, okay? Um, so it's like a, a straight cross-country race where there'll be hedges, ditches, fences, all manner of obstacles, usually quite tough obstacles, which are stamina intensive for the horses themselves and also require a lot of skill from the jockeys. The most famous steeplechase race that you'll be aware of is the Grand National that takes place every single year in April. Hurdles are a little bit different. They're obviously not quite as taxing on the horses um, so you have a selection of hurdles, can vary in height depending on the course. Um, they usually have a middle distance and there's less chance of the jockeys being unshipped within these races because obviously the obstacles aren't quite as taxing. And the last of those three categories is the National Hunt Flat, referred to as bumpers quite often. So this is where it can be, appear confusing because although it's inside the jump season, uh, these are flat races which are usually at the front and back of a horse racing card because they're the lower quality races. And the purpose of these races is to break the horses and riders into National Hunt and the National Hunt scene, which is where the term bumper comes from because typically the riders bump up and down in the seats and saddles. And so they're less important from a betting perspective, although they are part of the National Hunt calendar. So now we're making a little bit of headway on the move into the classifications and grouping for flat racing in particular. We'll go through how the official ratings work and so on and so forth. So flat racing is broken down into to groupings of one to three and classifications of one to seven. So your group races are like your premium quality horse races. You've got groups one through to three. There is a fourth group listed in condition stakes, uh, but these horses take place in the UK and Europe. You'll, know, you'll see some well-known household names within a lot of these races, such as Frankel, for example, and there's huge prize pots available to the winner. Now below that, you've got your classifications one through to seven. So one is the best, seven is the worst quality. These all vary in you know, levels of ability. There's different prize pots available to the winners and restrictions for entering these races. The conditions for entering all of these races is set on the horse's official rating. Now you may have seen that in the newspaper, the Racing Post, for example, um, and that is a quality score, if you like, the official rating given to a horse based on its age, sex, weight, and historic ability. So it all seems quite overwhelming at first, but the simple way to remember it is a horse has an official rating and its score, which then gives it the ability to enter in these different classes and it will move up and down depending on how it does. So moving on to the National Hunt graded races and classifications, you've got three grades on the National Hunt, very similar to the group races on the flat. Again, listed races fall into fourth position and the classes on the National Hunt, again, is one through to six this time instead of seven, one being the best, six being the worst, and that represents the bulk of National Hunt racing throughout the National Hunt calendar from October round to April. So now we've been through all of those different categories, you should easily be able to understand the title of a race in somewhere like the Racing Post. So we'll put something on screen now, and I'll show you an example just so we can walk you through this name and what it exactly means based on all those different categories we've just been through. So the race we've got here is 445 at Lingfield on the all weather, which there's a separate video about we'll put in the end screen. But the race here is one mile, two furlongs. That's the distance of the race. Download the free at the races app, Handicap. So you've got the race sponsor, Handicap being the type of horse race. It's a class five, meaning it's got low quality horses within this race. For three-year-olds, 
on a 0 to 70 official rating. Now, if you look at some of those horses on the screen a little bit further down there, you can see that their official ratings is underneath their weight. So for example, Secret Haunt's official rating is 70. So hopefully you got some value from that and that's helped you out. If you have, don't forget to tap the like button down below. Check out the videos in the end screen here. We've got one about all weather racing, a little bit of an explainer there, and also another about horse racing tips. Thanks for watching.